Hey, what's up guys? So we're out here shooting out of uh, the Gaylord Texan about to upset some people. That's the Lamborghini Urus behind us, 2019. Uh, this guy's about to call the cops, I'm sure. But it's okay, we don't care. So I'm gonna shoot some uh, B-roll of it, let you guys see what's going on. 2019 Lamborghini Urus, thank you. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? This thing's got massaging seats, just like the Ford Limited. It's got little ass cup holders, but it is a Lamborghini with cup holders. So think about that. It's got heated and cooled seats. Uh, I'll show you one of the things I noticed that I haven't seen many people talk about is the shifters. The shifters are actually connected to the steering wheel like an Audi or a Porsche, instead of like a Lamborghini where they're at the column. This is Matt. Matt's been in the videos before. What's in up? the future, me and Matt are gonna start doing a lot more work together. So, you guys look out for him. Then we might have to change the name to Eminem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It'd be real talk with Matt's, and we'll just add an S on the end. Yeah, that'd be easier. <laughs> yeah. This car is available for sale at Park Place of Grapevine. I want to say the cost on it's two nineteen, two hundred nineteen thousand. It's got right at 8,000 miles on it, which isn't much for a car like this. Uh, hey, it says it's getting 18 miles per gallon. That's better than the EPA average is what it says. EPA average is 12 and 17. With the all around average of 16 or some shit they said. So the dealer didn't say we had any restrictions, right? No, I'm just have fun. He did say have fun. This is 
four wheel drive, we can put it in some of these words I don't know. I'm gonna say Terra is like Terra Grappler on a Nitto, so that means it's for wild shit. Is this one for, for like desert racing? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Neva, Neva. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Never, ever. Get them on. We're down in Tijuana right now. Getting our drive on. <laughs> Texas wouldn't let us have nothing. So we're down here in Mexico. They don't know nothing about quarantine. <laughs> I thought he had me. I thought that cop nailed me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Sorry, the camera was blurry, so that shit's getting deleted. Matt's driving now. What's up? We just got busted by 5 0, but he was cool. He told us to get the fuck out. I'll play y'all some of that clip, but he didn't say fuck, but he should have. He'd have been cooler if he would have. Again, check some of this out right here if you want a car with a bunch of bells and whistles and buttons you'll never probably know what the hell they're gonna do this is your car i've been all in my bag you been all in my business all in your feelings, I've been all in them trenches, I've been all in my bag, you be all in my business, know they notice me flexing, fit in all in my fitness, I've been all in my bag, you been all in my business, you be all in your feelings, I've been all in them trenches, I've been all in my bag, you be all in my business, know they notice me flexing, Fit in all of my fitness. My chain dance on my head big, my top heavy, I let it down. See me shining, they hating on me, they mean mugging, I let them down. She call me poppy, I'm popping now. Happy, I'm hopping now. Money talks on the only thing these broke boys should be talking about. They talking greasy, we eating healthy, we getting wealthy, you see the difference. Blew her back, then I blew her off. She salty, now nah, she can't be the missus. My partner's country like cornbread. In the city plotting on long bread. These n out here going broke, trying to do this sh that they song said. I'm a once in a lifetime flex. Never leave lifelines. Hit her with the nighttime text. Got no time to fight while I stress. I be dripping, baby. This is how those professional photographers do it. So in the Urus, let me get in here and let me turn the power on. First off, look at that. That's just sexy. So as it starts up, see the paddles here? How they're on the steering wheel instead of on the column like normal? Look at this layout. And what I was talking about, so if you go here, when you go into sport, start it let's start it up see how that's orange now and then of course we got a performante style we got it in a style I don't know and another style I don't know but if you go back to normal Strata it's blue you put it in sport the needle right here your tack is now orange and then of course if you go to Corsa you got the big Bertha and you got the sound the sound goes nuts back there but this layout is just crazy it's a lot of people don't realize that a lot of the Lamborghini and everything is inspired by 
Porsche and Audi, and you can see that right here. This is this is pure Audi. The steering wheel here. This is a Audi slash Porsche. These seats. Those are straight out of a Porsche Cayenne, and it's just it's just amazing. It's got a nice sound system, and then of course you got the you turn it off. There goes your speakers. You see that over there? Let me zoom in. Watch this, watch when we start it up. This is a pretty neat little effect. That's pretty cool. BMW has that in the X6M and the M5, I believe. So we got that. We're gonna let Matt drive it around for a little while. I'm gonna get y'all some drive-by clips and all that while he does some more pictures and stuff. So here we go. That's a cold start in Strata. That was it in Strata. I mean, pretty, pretty simple, but yet still aggressive. Here comes security. <laughs> That behind me, that's the difference between professional and me. That's a professional photographer, and I'm using my hands because I suck. That guy right there, professional. Matt will spend hours editing this. I'll spend 20 minutes. <laughs> that's the difference between a pro and me. I kind of wanted to trip him. Fucking kick that. You kick the camera. <laughs> the fucking, it jumped in. Son of a bitch. Let's throw a stick in front of him. <laughs> 